Hey everybody and welcome inside the Update Studios. I'm Pat Sherwood. We are in the brink of the 2016 Open kicking off, which is step one in crowning the fittest on earth. But there are also some, also some very interesting subcategories you can earn. Fittest in your state, fittest in your country, etc., etc. And today, we are joined by the 2015 fittest man in Arkansas, Jake Carreri. Jake, thanks for being here. Hi, Pat. Thanks for having me. So, last year, fittest in Arkansas, and we chatted a little bit before the show, and you didn't just dive right into CrossFit. You had a very interesting initiation. You tried to break a... Guinness Book of World Records, which record? So in 2013, July, um, right before I started CrossFit, it was the Guinness World Record for most consecutive strict bar muscle-ups. So in the record, when I had attempted, the, uh, the live attempt fell three reps short of the current record of 27. Yeah, but obviously you had quite an athletic background. Most people might try to break, you know, eating the most funnel cakes or something like that. So bar muscle-ups, you, you had a good start wandering into CrossFit. Earning the title of fittest in Arkansas, what did that mean to you? Well, um, especially as we'll, um, we'll talk about here in a moment, but as far as when the Open concluded, to get awarded that just goes to show, as many other facets, and I always tell my members this, is that there are many reasons to do the Open, and not just to go to regionals or the next stages, but to just better yourself. So you finish up and are rewarded with something such as that, which was just quite an honor. So last year... On top of being crowned fittest in Arkansas, your goal was to make it to regionals and potentially beyond. You took 34th in the North Central region, and just to kind of fill people in, in the past, that would have put you at regionals. For, the long, you know, for a while, they took the top 40, but it switched to the top 20 in your particular region, and you just missed it. And we talked about, hey, there are going to be some great athletes that just kind of missed the cusp, and now I'm speaking with one of them. So what did just missing out on that spot to regionals do to you? Well, and I had read it um, a couple days ago in actually Rich's book of him talking about how the rope climb, had he actually made that rope climb in his first um, appearance at the Games, he would not have succeeded in as many championships as he has thus far. And it's in a similar facet, and a lot of people can end up with frustration as, oh, it should be top 40, or I had a lot of people being like, well, I think other people's videos are skeptical and their standards were off. But ultimately what it comes down to is, is uh, it just made me even more determined as far as this coming year. Um, you're, you're really inspired by it, and there are a lot of good athletes out there. Um, but 15-3 was kind of my downfall, and it showed me a hole that I have in my training. And what it did is it inspired, and I don't think I would have done nearly the level of training that I did this past year had I not failed to qualify, which makes me even more excited, not just for the Open, but for regionals and beyond. That's fantastic. You put in the work, and you actually saw the results. So your fingers are crossed. If double unders come up this year, no worries. Oh, I'd love 15-3 to appear again. Dave Castro loves repeats. We'll see what happens. But, Jake, we wish you nothing but the best, and hopefully we'll be reporting on what you do this year at regionals. Just hoping. Thanks so much, Pat. Best of luck, Jake. That was the fittest man in Arkansas. If you want to throw your hat in the ring to be earned fittest in your potential branch of military service, law enforcement, your state, your country, you've got to sign up.